G'day, it's uh, Michael McGuire here. Um, my first day uh, on the job at uh, South. Uh, really looking forward to everything that's in front of us. Uh, met all the players uh, and they look really, really keen. So we're looking forward to a, a really good season ahead. You know, obviously got a lot of work to do uh, in front of us, but uh, looking forward to a tough pre-season and then taking that into the season. Thanks. Feel like a South man now, mate? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's come around very quickly um, and had a good uh, sort of training session this morning. But uh, I came in last Thursday and uh, met a number of the young boys and met all the senior boys today. It's a, an exciting place to be at the moment. Do you like what you see? Yeah, definitely. The facilities and the people uh, you know, behind, the, behind the scenes in the office uh, um, look very, very helpful and uh, you know, really looking forward to a year ahead. Uh, but you know, the players themselves are, are very excited about what's ahead. Do you think uh, the team underachieved this year and you can take them further, finals? I don't really have a comment on how they've achieved. We're just really looking forward to what's ahead of us. Uh, you know, trying to improve as a group and obviously trying to take on board the things that I'll, I want to try and bring and, and complement what they've got. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of exciting times hopefully for South. But finals must be the aim. Oh, we're, we're aiming to improve on everything that uh, has happened in the club and, you know, that's, it, that's our major goal. You know, if, if that's part of it, then hopefully, you know, we're, we're going to sort of take the club forward. But, uh, you know, we're going to work really hard this pre-season to try and implement a number of things and obviously complement a lot of the stuff that the players have, um, you know, done in the past. So hopefully, you know, we can really build for, for that. Mate, how do you go into a season uh, without a recognised halfback? How big an issue is that for you? Oh, look, I'll soon find out. You know, at the end of the day, there's a number of players here that are going to have a chance and an opportunity. So, you know, we'll assess how things are going as we start training and you know, look forward, as I said, to what's in front of us. Who's the, who's the uh, first contender for the halfback spot? Uh, at the moment, I don't have any, any names. I'm just looking forward to seeing what I've got in the squad and then working myself from there. Well, coaching South Sydney comes with a lot of expectation, a lot of pressure. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, obviously, I understand all the pressures that are involved in a big club like South. You know, the, the history that you, you walk around the club and obviously uh, in the gym and the facilities they've got here, you, know, you can see everything. It's a big club and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm very fortunate and, and lucky to be coaching a club like this. Mate, why is it good to have Russell Crowe behind you? Oh, I think everything that I've had to do with him at the moment, he, he's just really looking forward to sort of taking the club forward. You know, um, you know, he's very, very passionate about it, but uh, you know, he's allowed me to do what I want to do uh, at the moment with the club. So, you know, we'll uh, obviously look and see what's ahead. Is he a big asset for you? Oh, I'm sure. You know, having a, an owner, and I've come from a club that has a an owner like him or similar to him. Uh, it's a single owner, and you know, I know there's a number of other people involved here, but uh, you know, he's got a lot of passion about what he does, and you know, he's got his. Um, his own uh, ideas, but uh, you know he's very willing about myself coming into the place and, and bringing myself and what I've learned over the years to the club. What, what got you the job? Do you think? What, what, what was the what, what was the clinching part of the deal that got you to start? Oh, I'm not sure to be honest. You probably have to ask them. Um, you know, I basically have just had a good time in the last two years uh, over at Wigan and uh, very fortunate to work uh, at a good club prior to that. So you know, maybe those opportunities that uh, and the experiences I've learnt in time have allowed me to get this opportunity. Mate, ha ha No, it's not an issue at all. At the end of the day, I, I, I should be able to utilise someone like himself uh, with the experience he's had. You know, and um, you know, he's got a lot of experience outside the scene and obviously being able to bring different people to the, to the game itself and obviously to South. So I see it as a real bonus. Oh, yeah, we've both, both spoken about it and you know, we understand the roles that we want to play and you know, I'm sure we'll continually talk about those sorts of things in, in days to come. Is there one quality you really want to bring to South? Oh, there's a lot of qualities that I'd like to bring and you know, I'll keep that between myself and the players but you know, we just want to work hard and improve on what, what's here at the moment and you know, we had, a, as I said, a good start this morning and we're looking forward to uh, furthering that into the pre-season. What King, what's Matt King here, mate? Uh, a couple of weeks, he'll be. Michael, how cranky were you when you learned that Sando wasn't going to be here? Oh, I didn't have any opinion on that, to be honest. At the end of the day, you know, I've, I've got uh, a great number of players here at the moment and I'm looking forward to working with them. I don't really have an opinion about that, but uh, you know, at some stage I'll probably talk to George, and you know, uh, I'd love to learn the history and, and more about the history of the South. You know, the, as you said earlier, you know, there's a, it's a great history and there's a lot of history in the club. So, you know, if I can talk to someone like him, uh, you know, there's plenty of uh, people I can tap into. Uh, you would have seen a couple of tackles from Isaac Luke. Uh, what are your thoughts on them? Uh, to be honest, I haven't actually seen them. I've been in the air flying back, so I've only arrived here last Thursday, so I haven't seen a lot of rugby league in the last couple of weeks. As far as halfbacks concerned, have you seen much of you know, the, the depth? Uh, I'm aware of it, but I haven't seen a lot of it. So, you know, as I said, you know, once we start out in the park and start training, I'll get an idea of what's there and what's available to me. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, willing young kids that are definitely going to get an opportunity. As far as recruitment's concerned, are you done as far as, you know, you're looking at the roster? Oh, I'm always looking at certain things, you know, and we'll wait and see what's, what's available. But uh, at the moment, I'm very happy with what we've got. Uh, your pack is good enough to win a comp. 
we'll soon find out. You know, we'll have to um, work out, as I said, this pre-season and uh, you know, see where it takes us. South fans have, uh, have massive expectations, more so than anybody. This is a traditional club here. Look, they'll, they'll be wanting for you to deliver from game one. Will you be ready to, to, uh, to win from the opening game of the season? Oh, as I said, you know, we're going to take day by day and nothing's going to change. You know, we just need to improve as a group and, you know, I need to obviously spend hours out in the park, find out what sort of uh, players I've got and then, as I said, bring what I'd like to bring to the club and complement what they've already got. So, you know, I'll sort of work that as we go and, and get close to the season. I'll get a bit more of an idea of what we've got. Did you want to Carney at the club? Uh, at the moment, I'm very happy with what we've got. Oh yeah, I'm always watching the amount of rugby league. You, you watch as a coach, you know, you're watching everything possible and whether you're over there or over, over here, you're always watching at different things, whether it be rugby league or different sports. So I'm a coach that likes to look outside the square and try and see what's available from a playing point of view and I, I watch plenty of NRL. Thank you.